Good morning, folks. That filament indeed destabilized yesterday, but most slid back down into the sun and some southern ejecta won't be coming our way. What may indeed be coming our way, though, is another filament that ripped away from center disk this morning. SDO Eclipse makes it very tough to see, and luckily it's small enough that we don't need to be concerned. Earth took another gamma ray burst yesterday. This one came out of the Centaurus constellation. Bartol showing peaks to the cosmic ray flux here. I'm still baffled that the experts don't know this was a coronal hole stream. Density peak, then speed ramps up. There is no doubt that's what caused the geomagnetic storm. And looking only at the last 24 hours of data shows the peak speed times from 1700 to 2300 UTC, right when we took some of those low energy proton spikes. It was another anemic day for solar flaring. But incoming sunspots down south may change that situation. It's a large grouping coming in now. The umbral size appears solid. We'll see how the magnetics look in another day or two. The next coronal hole should be Earth-facing today up north. It actually appears that the southern extension coming in a day or two later is the strongest of the bunch. But either way, just like last time, we should see a re-ramp of seismic activity beginning today or tomorrow. Thus far... We've just had some moderate tremors in this lull between watches, some of which are swarming at unusual locations, however, and folks, Iceland keeps popping in 5 magnitude range. Now, I'm not saying a bigger volcanic eruption is imminent. I'm saying I observe with near obsession, and I have never seen such a long and strong seismic uptick there. Folks, this is the current northern polar vortex. Doesn't look like much. But just three months ago, as northern summer began, it looked like this. Very, very weak. Of course, you go back to December and it looked like this. At that time, the southern vortex was weak. Just three months ago, the southern vortex was as strong as it gets, and now it is breaking down to go into southern summer as the northern vortex begins to build back towards a stronger flow. Looking at the ice extents. Arctic up north, bottoming out for the year about 50% higher than the record lows in 2012. Meanwhile, it is official, speculation confirmed, the Antarctic ice has broken the all-time high ice record during modern observation. Do you remember when people were trying to say that was an error, and then NASA, NOAA, and the NSIDC all chimed in to confirm the validity of the record-breaking ice down south? Well, now, those folks say, okay, it is at record high ice, but it's because of global warming putting easily freezable freshwater around the continent. They forgot that they already acknowledged that an underwater volcano was doing the small bit of underside melting in the western sheet, and if you don't know how to take their latest explanation, ask why that same pattern doesn't work in the northern hemisphere. Folks, we've had a big volcano burst in Papua New Guinea, evacuations at Mayon in the Philippines, and now... We've got Slamet erupting in Indonesia. The footage is quite aesthetic. Ash and smoke clouds charging up a few kilometers into the sky. The volcano continued a fiery fury well into the night. Let's shift to Feng Wong. This typhoon gave the Philippines yet another battle. Been another terrible year there for these storms. Up next for it, mainland China. Meanwhile, the U.S. is obviously dealing with flooding of its own. This is from Houston, Texas. Moisture flow out of the Gulf keeps it rolling today, along with the strong convergence bringing late summer severe storm watches to the Midwest and South Central Canada. That storm cell identified yesterday has dumped a hail storm on Italy. The central nations in the continent will get to deal with this again today. Meanwhile, the watches are lessened in the few watch zones in Australia weather shares are welcome. Folks, in today's Fly on the Wall upload, we'll discuss those polar vortex changes described today, clarify the story on the Arctic and Antarctic sea ice, discuss the major climate protests about to happen, and a lot more. If you are unfamiliar, for website members, we do a short evening news almost every day, a weekly audio upload under Fly on the Wall, and we have a number of other special features that we update regularly. Access to the nearly 200 hours of content comes out to a whopping three bucks per month or twenty dollars for the entire year we very much appreciate all your support for the news the site and the mobile observatory project thank you earthquake ramp is on its way at 6 40 a.m eastern time 3 40 a.m here in the west eyes open no fear be safe everyone